About time you got here. I told you you were wasting your time, Del. That is why we're here. And Mathis, I am running things around here, so keep your mouth shut. You got that? <laughs> Fine. All right, listen up, because I am only going to go through this once. We are here to dig up any info about Grix's legacy. We are not here to scrap for loot. Whatever you pick up, don't think, don't get creative, bring it straight to me. It's so simple, even a rook like you can't screw it up. Hold on, no scrapping. How the hell am I supposed to make money around here? All right, that's enough. If either of you want to fly with the Crimson Fleet, then you need to follow one simple rule. When you're on a job, you do exactly what I say. No questions asked. If that doesn't work for you, just say so, and I will leave you on this ice ball without a ship. You will be dead within hours. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and there's one more thing. Your little friend can tag along until we get to the outer doors of the prison, but I will be damned if I'm letting them inside. <sighs> fine, fine, go on, leave me. Just be sure and thaw me out when you return. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock, so let's get moving. Could you imagine being stuck under a ton of ice like this for the rest of your life? Yeah, sure. Must have been awful. Better them than us, though, am I right? Wait, shut up a second! I bet these things are crawling all over the place. Yeah, and their bodies probably heard us firing from about a kilometer away. Hallelujah. Hey, how about that? Guess you're not so stupid after all. <laughs> well, look at that. One firefight and the two of you become best buddies. Now let's see. Looks like we are inside some sort of prisoner transfer area, but everything is locked down tight. Since you are such good friends, why don't you and Mathis head up to that control room and see if you can get some more of these doors open? Just great. The hell are we supposed to do now? The plan? Who gives a shit about the plan? Let's face it, we're on our own now. 
Well, yeah, we'll get to that eventually. For right now, I have a much better idea. We use this opportunity to take out Delgado, and at the same time, make some serious credits for ourselves. We bide our time, and when the moment's right, we hit him with everything we've got. Even the almighty Delgado won't stand a chance if we work together. I had a feeling you'd be on board. Okay, here's my plan. Let's pretend for a second Delgado's correct. And there's information here about Crix's legacy. Once we get rid of him, we'll dig up the garbage ourselves and sell whatever we find to Neva. We'll be rolling in credits. No, 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 no way. Listen to me. We're going to be handing Neva leadership of the Crimson Fleet on a platter. She'll be thanking us for getting rid of Delgado. I mean, come on. I'll bet you a month's share that he's never been this vulnerable. It's perfect! Pfft, hell no. Come on, we both know anything we find here about the Legacy is going to be a dead end. If Neva wants to spend the rest of her life chasing ghosts, let her! We got more important things to do, like spending all of our money. Oh, fine. Suit yourself. You know, for a second there, I was almost starting to respect you. Where have you been? I hope you found something because I am getting sick and tired of this place. Yep, that's right. It was a team effort all the way. We had each other's backs the whole time, Del. Is that madness? Tell him to shut up so I can think. Uh, yeah, sorry, Del. You go right ahead. Okay. Now, all we have to do is find a way off of this planet. Um, let me see. Ah, uh, here we go. I'm looking at schematics for the lock. And I don't... I think there's a way to get you back to the surface from there. But I can open the outer doors to the shuttle bay and let you fly one of the shuttles down there directly up to the key. According to the schematics, there is an emergency evacuation exit I can use to return to the surface. Then it's just a quick run across the ice to my ship, and I'll probably still be you to the key. Good answer. You're learning fast. Okay. Let me see. One of these probably opens the door. Shuttle bay activated. Initiating the exit process. Please stand by. Yup. That's got it. Might take a while, though. Those bay doors have not been opened in almost a century. You have done a hell of a job, Rook. We will talk when you get back to the key. I, um, well, I wanted to thank you for not being a jerk and hounding all the glory on this run. That's true. Well, thanks all the same. Look, um, about all that killing Delgado stuff, why don't we just forget about everything that I said? You know, like it never happened. Oh, you're gonna be like that, huh? Well, I guess I deserve it. Now, let's get the heck out of here.
There you are. What the hell took you so long? It's about time. I was about to fly down and loot your bodies. Not now, neighbor. Well, you said you found something. Hand it over. That's it? Just one slate. After losing so much of our crew, it better be a map with a big red X on it. Well, I'll be damned. Legacy wasn't referring to Crix's fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A Galbank transport probably loaded with credits. Never heard any stories about a Galbank ship going down. And even if it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. No, neighbor. Think. If Galbank covered it up, and over time, the location was eventually forgotten, it wouldn't be on anyone's radar. Okay. This changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, we have to narrow the search. Well, that is not necessarily true. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbank ship, which means the company is going to have records of where it went down. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a... Big wig charity event on one of Trident's Starliners? Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. Adios mio. Will you shut up about your score and think for a second? That Starliner has a Galbank VIP suite aboard. Which means... Come on, Neva. This isn't hard. Which means a Galbank exec will be aboard. We grab their credentials and get ourselves into the Galbank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. <laughs> I'll send a message to Rokov right away. Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy when Rokov screws everything up as usual. Good, because that is exactly what you are going to be doing. Neva and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. If Trident Security spotted us, it'd be over. I need you to board that ship, make contact with Rokov, and get me those credentials. You'd better. Oh, before you leave, I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration, and I've decided to let him join the fleet. We'll see. That's it then. Next stop for you is Rokov Starliner, the Siren of the Stars. And remember, Rokov does not need to know anything about Grix's legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook, before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Matt. I love a job you get down the road. Thank you one last time for not ratting me out to Delgado and telling him how much I pitched in. That was pretty damn cool. If he would have found out what I was planning, well, I don't even want to think about what could have happened. What? No, you gotta be crazy. All I'm gonna do is lay low for a while, pick up a few jobs from Voss, and maybe get drunk. <laughs> I appreciate that. And look, if you ever need anything, an extra gun or whatever, 
I got your back. I think we will be quite capable of managing by ourselves, thank you. You just, uh, you know, uh, take care of yourself out there. What could go wrong in a place like this? Yeah? The fleet's the only family you we need. We haven't decided. There you are. All right, look. I've been lining up a score with that asshole Rokoff on the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. I'm about to tell you, so shut up and listen. Rokov's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're gonna give away something called Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the Siren, swiping those gal bait credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. No. Dombrowski's only aboard to use the Gal Bank VIP suite, so he can catch a free ride at the company's expense. I'm sure he'll be there partying with the other spoiled brats. I guarantee he doesn't give a crap about what's going on at the event. From the pictures I've seen, the award is set with 12 blue diamonds and covered in gold filigree. If I get jazzed to take it apart, I can turn it into a hell of a lot of cash. And best of all, the components become untraceable. And I'd prefer to have the money that award's worth in my account. So you're just gonna have to deal with it. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? I suppose it is up to you to decide whether it is worth it. All Rokoff does is feed me information. If I ask him to lift a finger, he gives me enough sob stories to fill a freighter's cargo bay. If you want my advice, leave him completely out of the loop. Otherwise, it's gonna cost both of us some credit. Then it's settled. Good. All right, Rook, we're done here. Now, get your ass to the Siren and bring me my food. Because that's exactly what you are. A rookie, a newbie, fresh me. Beneath all of that inexperience, I'm sure you have an actual name. But honestly, no one gives a damn. So get used to hearing that word. Until you earn your stripes, you're a rook to everyone in the fleet. We'll talk later. So how did it go? Frankly, it's because we've never gotten this far before. The last agent I sent to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet ended up in a morgue on New Atlantis. Then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Rook. I was certain we'd fool Delgado, but never. She's a sharp one. 
Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? Legacy. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? I have never heard of such a thing. I'm surprised. I thought this was one of those tales that made it to every corner of the settled systems. I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. Well, we can solve that little mystery in about ten seconds. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a gal bank transport named the Legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because Gal Bank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, then he must be on to something. We have to take... What's your next move? Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Crix was clever. For some reason, he never got there. It's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. You're both dismissed. We hunt piracy all across the galaxy. Death Marines are the best of the best.